meteorologist Scott Norval with the On Your Side forecast. Uh, temperatures today, yeah, right about where they should be in the upper 80s to near 90. You look at this uh, for, forecast trend that we've had over the past couple of weeks. Remember the 4th of July, we were below average with a high of only 82 degrees. Then we got into the 90s and then back down again. That dip into the mid 80s on the on the 8th of July, which is pretty impressive. Then we thought, uh oh, here we go. The rest of July will be hot, touching 99, but not 100 in Boise, but it was 100 in some locations in the valley. And then since then, we've been dipping on down. There's Tuesday, the 16th to, at 86. Today, about 89 to 90. So we've gone up a bit. We'll go back down to this range again over the next couple of days. In fact, it shows up in our weather trend here for the next 10 days. There's the 89 today, 86 tomorrow, and as low as 84 during the day on Friday. That's impressive to keep it that cool uh, in July. Boy, this is the middle part of July. And then the surge comes in. This is more like it, right? At 101. By the way, all those ups and downs we just saw, we're only running 7 tenths of a degree above average for the first half of July. That's not significant if it's less than a degree. So it's slightly above average. It's not below average, even though we've had these below average temperatures. With this coming in when we start looping around towards Friday, we'll probably when you add up all the numbers, we'll be at average or slightly below. And then this, of course, will bring that average and swing it up higher because we go to 100 to 101 on Monday and Tuesday. Even Wednesday stays at 98 and it doesn't cool down all that much with some heat sticking around towards the end next weekend as well. Could be quite hot also here. Dry conditions across southern Idaho. The view from space shows just a few high clouds drifting by. No thunderstorms popping up, but when you see these rippled clouds right here where the it's a uh, kind of a stable air mass and the wind is whipping across the hills here and, and you're getting these wave clouds going through. That's a sign of some wind in the mid levels and there's moisture. We call northward. You're looking north from Reddish Mountain. You can see that cloud cover, but for the most part that will continue to slide from west to east here and that's a sign of some cool, cool weather. We had a little front come through and the wind picked up behind it. Another little front offshore here will come through again tomorrow and that will drop that temperature again, but that's the last one and then the heat will start to build up from the south and as it does, we'll see those temperatures skyrocket, but it won't happen until as the weekend starts to come to an end. So where has all the heat been? Well, unfortunately, it's been back east. When you have moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico here, it rides on up and it doesn't look like I have the right to, uh, arrow to show you, but moisture comes out of the Gulf of Mexico and this high humidity from here eastward for everybody. So when it gets hot, it's really hot because of the humidity. So an excessive heat warning, St. Louis is rain falling, They're having low temperatures around 75 and 80 degrees with very high humidities in the morning. Uh, heat advisories, or I should say, excessive heat warnings for all of Indiana, Kentucky, Paducah, Kentucky, Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, here's Wichita, Kansas, down into, into uh, Oklahoma as well as parts of Arkansas. Everybody else is in the heat advisory. This is where the heat is now, and we can see some of the temperatures, some of the scorching heat. We have the purple here. You say, oh, 98, 99. 98.99 here is a lot worse than 98.99 here. I'll tell you that much because of the lack of moisture that we have across the west. So this is pretty bad when it gets like this. Chicago at 92, that heat will build over the next few days, and that's why the excessive heat warnings. But that's the next few days. Days 8 to 14, a huge shift, cooler than normal will return and a huge break in the heat wave, which is great news for the east, will continue. But when that happens as a reflection of the west, we get a flip flop in the heat will start to build in. We'll start to see Sacramento really building in that heat. All the central valleys of California, Portland will get real hot as well. And in the Boise area, we're topping 100 degrees here coming up shortly, the beginning of next week. And then that heat 8 to 14 days out, that's after a week now, we're talking about that heat sticking around. So the second half of July could be a lot hotter than the first half of July for us. 76 in McCall today, 74 tomorrow, 72 on Friday with a low temperature Friday and Saturday morning of 40 to 42 degrees. Nice and cool and comfortable beautiful in the afternoon with sunshine and you see that warming trend 72 Friday 78 Saturday and getting into the 80s during the day on Sunday. It was 41 this morning at Redfish Lake well above 6000 feet here. Blue skies breaking cloud cover from time to time. You get gusty breezes at Redfish Lake from time to time and happened today 72. Now you see the 70s the next couple of days and then Saturday at 80. So some really nice summer like weather summer weather coming in over the next few days. We'll drop that temperature a little bit tomorrow about 90s so will 
drop at about four degrees in the Western Valley around Ontario, 86 in Boise and Mountain Home as well. That northwest wind about 10 to 18 miles per hour. And in Garden Valley, it'd be a perfect 83 tomorrow. Idaho City, 80 if you're heading on up to the Springs. And then uh, Pine, Featherville, and McCall, Long Valley in the 70s. Very pleasant. Stanley and Sun Valley tomorrow in the 70s. The breeze will pick up here. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy and some gusty breezes likely around Fairfield. The Magic Valley forecast will be in the 80s as well with some gusty northwesterly breezes. My extended forecast, everybody's kind of looking ahead. The Garth Brooks concert is Friday night and Saturday night, Don. You couldn't ask for better weather because the temperatures will drop quickly Friday night. I mean quickly. So as the sun goes down, it will get very comfortable. This could be amazing weather. And then we go above 100 Monday and Tuesday. We'll enjoy that then. Yeah. Before it goes back up. Okay. All right, thanks, Scott. 50 years ago this week, Neil.